Hey, I am 3 Plus Key, your favorite social worker. Welcome back. Today we're going to go over Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 and 13. The devotional title is called The Living Word. So Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 and 13 are... For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. And here is the devotional entitled The Living Word. The Bible is the most amazing book ever written. God used human beings to record his thoughts and words and writing so that others could know him. And this is evidenced by Second Peter chapter 1 verses 20 and 21. And those are above all. You must understand that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in the human will, but prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. The one who spoke the universe into existence still speaks just as powerfully through the pages of the Bible that you hold in your hands. At the moment of salvation, believers receive the Holy Spirit and lines of communication with the Lord are established. Then, whenever the scriptures are read, children of God can hear his voice and the Spirit enables them to understand and put into practice what they have heard. The Bible isn't just a good book that's filled with comforting words. <laughs> Scripture is effective and always achieves God's purpose. This is talked about in Isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 and 11. And that is, as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Today's passage describes it as active and alive and 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 tells us the word of God is at work in who you believe. And you who believe, excuse me. This book has the power to change our life if we will believe the Lord and do what he says. God uses the Bible to transform us from the inside out. Before reading scripture, ask him to help you hear and understand what he's saying as you believe and obey, your spiritual hearing will become more acute and your time in the word will become an intimate conversation with the Lord. I recently did a video on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, and it talks about how love is not self-seeking and it uh, does not easily anger and um, it doesn't keep a record of the other person's wrongs. And I love that. This is why we have scripture, not to just guide us, but to give us the blueprint for our actions. If you don't know what to do in a situation how to handle somebody, how to proceed in life. Scripture, which is the word of God, the living word of God, will dictate, mandate, <laughs> insist 
uh, on your following the actions that are set forth, right? Um, I recently had a conversation with somebody and they, they said, Lakeith, I, I, I need to make more money. I have this emergency that popped up. And I said, well, the first thing is to is to pray. Let the Lord know the issue, what you need. Thank him for any provision that is coming your way. Thank him for what you already have, for what he's already given you. And then be intentional about what he sets in front of you, right? And then have an intention to give some of that provision away, right? And the example I used in the way that God may provide in the way we may not want him to, but he's still providing. Let's say you need a job, but you hate bacon. You just you just hate the taste of bacon, right? And so you say, oh, I need money. I need a job. What am I going to do? And what comes of that is you're walking down the street past the bacon factory. And there's a large glaring sign that says, hiring immediately and you say to yourself well I don't like bacon and you keep walking was the job and the money <laughs> not just provided and you just didn't you just didn't like it right and so sometimes we get that twisted with the Lord we say we want money we we actually meant we want somebody to uh you know Knock on our door. Here <laughs> is ten thousand dollars, and then the person like leaves us alone after that, right? It doesn't work that way. The Lord is also not a, a a genie where you make your three wishes and they come true. That's not the vibe at all. We're to serve Him, live in obedience to Him, and um, just utilizing, you know, how to love from first Corinthians 13, five again, um, which enables us to work on ourselves and work on, um, our ability to serve others by not being so angry and working in their best interest first. This improves relationships in a biblical fashion, um, which from that, right. Perhaps opportunities can arise from that because you're building a, a foundation. You're putting the Lord in your relationship. You're putting the Lord first and foremost in the way that you conduct yourself. And so from that, that breeds trust, integrity that people can, can witness, diligence in your efforts that other people can witness, you do what you say you're going to do, a biblical principle, um, and all of this you can find right here in Scripture. Who said it? The Lord said it, right? Um, so again, that's Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 through 13. The living word, it's it's here for our, our correction and um, for our example. And it is um, dictates the way we should be living. Uh, the word is the truth. <laughs> the word is the truth. Um, so at any rate, I am three plus key, your favorite social worker um subscribe to this channel if you have not already uh comment below what your thoughts are uh maybe your favorite verse or or piece of scripture that you that's your go-to you absolutely um live by it preach it uh, exemplify it in your daily actions. What is one piece of scripture that does that for you? 
If you're already subscribed, share this video with someone else. Like, let's get the word all over the internet. Um, I'm three plus key and I'll talk to you later.